continue. Hi, um, welcome to the Sun Bookshop Recommendations. I'm going to recommend two books today. My first book, they're both going to be brief, is, look at this, is that a painting? No, it's a book. It's um, the book from the Clarice Beckett exhibition, which some people have been lucky enough to go to Adelaide to see. I believe it's not going to travel anywhere. I would have loved to have gone to see it, and I didn't. I'm really mad at myself. Um, Clara Speckett was an Australian artist who died in, I think, 1935. She was amazing. She came from Melbourne, and she does these beautiful, I think she was from the Tonal School or something. Can you see this incredible, beautiful painting? Lots of paintings like that of Melbourne, of Beau Morris. They're just so gorgeous, lots of information in here. And this may be the only way you'll see a big collection of Clara Beckett's work. I really don't believe that exhibition is going to travel. It is also, they are not reprinting this book either, which is, and it's quite a good price. So I highly recommend The Present Moment, The Art of Clara Beckett, which we have available at the present moment. And also... <laughs> Kate, I just want to quickly say I read this book by Lisa Tadeo, Animal. Lisa Tadeo wrote Three Women, which I don't know if people have read that, but that was a fantastic um, biography of three women and their sex lives. And Lisa Tadeo had spent about 12 years with these women, working, talking to them, getting to know them, finding out about their lives. It's a fabulous book. This is her first novel. It's pretty full on. I loved it. It is about a woman. She's an anti-heroine, I guess. You don't, you can't really love her. She's had a pretty hard time. The novel starts, she's leaving New York because her married lover has shot himself in front of her and her new married lover in a restaurant in New York. And she's decided to go to California. She wants to, she's on a mission in her trip to California. She ends up living in this house up in the hills with two men, a young, groovy, cool dude who's like a hip hop star and an old, handsome kind of guy who owns the place. She has a fair, she sleeps with everyone. She's a very, she's a difficult character, but I guess there's redemption by the end. It's really worth reading. It's such a page turner. I read it in a day when I was on holidays. I loved it. Um, Kate, what are you going to talk about? <laughs> well, I'm going to um, go and recommend another picture book this week, um, A Pair of Pears and an Orange by Anna McGregor, who also wrote another household favourite of ours, An Enemy is Not the Enemy, um, which is a bit of a tongue twister, but there you go. So, A Pair of Pears and an Orange is a beautiful, not only beautifully illustrated, but a beautiful story that teaches lessons about when um, a twosome becomes a little bit difficult when it becomes a trio, and then the difficulty of a trio when it becomes a quartet. So it follows the story of a pair of pairs, and then Orange comes along, and the games that the pairs used to play together don't quite work for three people. So one of the pairs leaves, and joins up with a trio of peas and he learns lots of games that three people can play together but don't quite work for four um, and then he goes back to the pear and the orange and teaches them the new games that you can do in a trio it's really sweet as i said beautifully illustrated like the colors are so vibrant it's such a great learning story that's also really fun for um toddlers about you know accepting um that things change situations need to evolve you need to be adaptable and yeah so great life lessons in there from anna mcgregor but also similar to an enemy is not the enemy um it's just yeah a really great story i love reading it actually I, the multiple times i have to read it i i love it so that's a that's a really great recommendation from me i think <laughs> and um, yeah, so hopefully uh, I'll have managed to finish a novel by next time. <laughs> wow. 
Um, but yeah, happy long weekend, everybody. Uh, we will be closed on Monday, but we'll be back Tuesday. And um, we'll see you next week for some more great recommendations. And well done, Melbourne, out of lockdown. Yes. <laughs> but with your mask on. With your masks on. Okay. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye.